Hey, Chuck, what day is it? What's today's day? All right. Hey, man, it's Wednesday, so you already know. It's Binge Word. Uh, how are you going to rate uh, Maya and the three? Oh, wow, that's a good one. Y'all starting with me today. Okay. Let me be up front. I'm giving it a binge worthy. It's binge out. I binge out on this. I think this is one of the most amazing animes I've seen in the animation I've seen in the last probably five years. Um, it, it falls with a lot of tropes, but I expect that for this property. He's like the James, I mean, he's like the James Cameron of filmmaking, and it shows. Um, the quality of animation is like some of the best I've ever seen. The detail of all the characters is the best I've ever seen. And people don't understand, they did all this on open source software called Blender. So anybody can download this software. Your children, who, who, who he purposely did this with, said, hey, anybody can do this level of animation and character modeling with this piece of software. And this is where you people of color who can't afford $2,000 worth of software just to animate, then another 2,000 to actually model. Here's this one piece that's totally free so you can do both. I, I, I can't speak much more about this. The colors, the soundscapes, the characters, the style. Oh, this is like some of the best stylization I've ever seen. And it holds true to the cultures that it, in, in, that it uses. The Mesoamerican cultures, and then some of the Caribbean cultures, they made sense. Everything just made sense. And I thought he took a really good care of this this project. Okay, so we got a uh, full binge out. Uh, Sintel, I'm going to jump in here real quick, and we'll let you uh, back clean up. Yeah. So, I'm going to deviate a little bit or a lot from Chuck's full binge out. And now, first, I want to start off with some of the, the positive things, right? Like, uh... Chuck Talk mentioned the Mesoamerican culture. Like, I think this is important for that culture. Latin speaking, uh, Mexican background, those types of things. Because I want properties like this to succeed. The uh, Binge Worthy and the Geekish Network is all about representation, people of color. So I want to see more properties like this to succeed. I differ from what Chuck had in. I didn't know really what to make of this series who was it for was it for children uh were some of the things a little adultish and i found myself being a little bored with it i didn't love it at all i thought it seemed a little kiddish the animation to me was cartoonish for young kids nine-year-olds ten-year-olds i thought the things in it were really simple I, I just didn't have that connection with any of the characters and at the beginning of the program i said a snack is something that you would rather be watching something else and as i was watching this last night and the night before uh the brooklyn nets and golden state warriors were playing and i was like i would much rather be watching that <laughs> and trying to get through this series and monday night football was on i was like i would rather be watching uh the rams play than watching this so unfortunately i'm deviating from you bro um i'm giving it a snack as of right now maybe you guys can convince me to up my rating but for my initial rating it's a snack to me how you feel about it Centel? All right, so um, I first heard about it uh, through through just social media because my my timeline was just buzzing. And everybody was like, "Yo, this is must see. This is must see." Um, and then uh, my family started watching, it and I was I was watching something else. And I'm hearing them crack up. I'm going in like going path, going through the living room to the kitchen to get some snacks, and they are like focused. So then we had our production meeting and I, and we were talking about what the next thing is going to be. And I, I did, I did kind of, I don't think I was the first person to bring it up, but I did, I do remember saying that, but yeah, I've heard some good things about it in my family is kind of like all in. Uh, so there's, there's things on both sides of, of, of both of your argument that, that I can agree on. Um, one, I'm going to start with the negatives first. Um, and, and what Johnny was saying is that I wasn't sure exactly who this was specifically for. Um, because there, there is some really adult themes that, that's going on, especially dealing with death. Dealing with death in, in a way that may be very uncomfortable for, for, for young kids and maybe a little bit uncomfortable for, for adults as well if you're not understanding how different cultures uh, adapt death, death into, into their own lifestyle. It's, 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 a, it's a bit jarring at times and awkward and funny feeling. 
Um, and and the second thing that you said, Johnny, that that I think is uh, pertinent is the animation style is is just different. It's good. It's really good. And that's what I wanna I wanna uh, I wanna tie in uh, with Chuck. It's really good. But if you're if if you're not used to that style, I can I can totally understand why it, it, it could be off putting. Now the things that that I loved about it is I got to learn. Like I legitimately picked up like a, a little bit of a class watching this. I'm I'm woefully ignorant to to all of the cultures that that exist in the Caribbean and in South America uh, in in general. And this was a is a broad sweeping view of that. Uh, so with that being said, because the main reason because I didn't know who the audience was for is the only reason why I'm not giving it a binge out. But it is a full meal on the cusp. On a, of a binge out and i'm i'm almost certain that by the time we get done talking about it it probably is going to go to a binge out okay. so full meal for now all right so we got a a full meal we have a binge out and then we have a, a snack for me so what's that so we got five, four, that's 11, 11, so it's a 3.6. We can round that up to a full meal right now. That's what we're leaving at, All right.